Hi, this is our fourth presentation regarding food allergens risk management for food safety project. In this module, we will talk about the rules for food allergen information and communication. What we will see in this presentation, there are eight sections in this module. First of all, we will give general information about communication and communication types. Then we will talk about risk communication in food allergen risks communication. Afterward, the stakeholders in the communication process will be defined and their responsibilities will be discussed. Later on, the notification method of 14 food allergens that must be declared as allergens according to EU laws will be explained to the custom consumers. In the next section, the importance of teamwork in communication will be discussed. In the following, the problems and deficiencies in communications will be mentioned. In the last part, this module will be completed with conclusions and recommendations. Let's start with the first section. Food allergy is expressed as an adverse health effect resulting from a specific immune response that occurs when exposed to a particular food. The number of people with food allergies has become an important health problem by increasing day by day. Avoiding allergenic foods is the most effective way to protect individuals with allergies to prevent allergic reactions caused by foods. Because anaphylaxis, which is seen as the most serious symptom of food allergy, it can cause the individual's circulatory system to collapse, coma and even death. For this reason, it is great importance to know the 14 most common and mandatory reporting food allergens according to European legislation. Eating at the restaurants is one of the most important social activities for many people. This activity, which is an ordinary situation for most people, can be a difficult and stressful process to manage for allergic individuals and families. Some customers with food allergies have difficulty eating out because restaurant staff do not know about food allergens, do not understand the special requirements of customers, or are not aware of the severity of food allergy reactions. Since people with food allergies are concerned about eating out, families need to negotiate and take risks about going to the restaurant. Meticulous control of ordering, food preparation and serving process in restaurants is of great importance in preventing allergies, allergic reactions. Studies have found that food allergies are caused by cross-contamination in areas where food is prepared and or hidden allergens that are not reported in menu ingredients. In addition, it is being stated that, that one of the main causes of allergic reactions in restaurants is the miscommunication between customers with food allergies and restaurant staff. In another study, it was reported that customers with food allergies sometimes do not report their food allergies to restaurant staff, and this is due to social embarrassment. Food allergy risk communication and management as part of food safety risk management in collective consumption places plays a key role in reducing the risk of allergic reactions when serving customers with food allergies. Communication methods between the staff working in these workplaces and customers with food allergies are of great importance. In order to effectively communicate information and risk messages about food allergy risks to customers with food allergy, staff training should include food allergen risk communication issues. When the food safety crisis experienced around the world are examined, it can be said that strong risk communication plays a very important role in ensuring risk management of food allergens. The EU's food safety policies include, include ensuring food safety from farm, farm to fork, as well as protecting consumers' rights and health, protecting animal health and plant health at the best levels, and ensuring and maintaining the balance of functionality of the internal market. In the food law, the role of EU institutions and member states in food safety 
as well as the powers and responsibilities of the industry and consumers are determined and the industry is directly responsible for ensuring the food product safety. There are several food allergy education programs developed for the restaurant industry. Only a few of them focus on improving restaurant employees' risk perceptions and risk communication behaviors when serving customers with food allergies. In order to contribute to filling this gap in education programs, the importance of communication in food allergen risk management is mentioned in this module. Teamwork, communication and communication strategies are key elements of food allergen risk management for food safety. In our previous training modules, information about food allergens was given and this module focuses on risk perception and improving risk behavior. If we examine the word communication in detail, we see that the communication word comes from the Latin word comunicare, which means to cooperate, consult, communicate, discuss, share, do something together, etc. People in the communication process transmit and exchange information such as thoughts, information, ideas, beliefs, feelings and values. The communication process includes the communicative functioning of at least two communication partners. In the communication process, content and relational aspects are always intertwined. Communication components, information sources are the communicator, sender, transmitter, message, communication channel, message receiver, communication effect, and feedback. Coding means changing thoughts, beliefs, and feelings. The sender's encoding of the message is important so that the characters used are local, known and understandable by the recipient or recipients. Thus, the receiver decodes the sender's message, that is, transforms it into thought, interprets it and explains its meaning. The communication effect depends on, the, on how the message is decoded. The following elements affect communication between the individuals, participants in the communication process and their relations, figures or symbols used, distance between participants in the communication process, direct communication means eye to eye, and remote, undirect communication, phone, letter, email, etc. Communication direction, one-way, two-way, multi-way communication, etc. The three main communication methods are written, verbal, and nonverbal communication. Firstly, we can talk about verbal communication. It is the type of communication in which the message is delivered to the receiver by voice or speech. Effective verbal communication involves the use of interpersonal skills. The clarity of the receiver's hearing, listening and comprehension skills, body language, gestures and facial expressions are the factors that contribute to the realization of effective verbal communication. Conversations between individuals are defined as a verbal communication. A language of letters and words is used to exchange messages between people. Although language is very important in communication, only part of communication takes place in, at the verbal level. The tone, speed, intensity and emphasis of the voice are important in verbal communication. The advantages of verbal communication are that the transmitted message is highly understandable by the receiver, answers to questions promptly, clarification of incomprehensible issues and simultaneous feedback. In response to these advantages of verbal communication, inadequate and complex words used in verbal communication are not fully understood by the receiver, verbal communication cannot be documented, the communication time increases, disruptions occur in the pace of work, and the verbal messages loses its purpose. Despite these drawbacks, the most effective form of communication is verbal and face-to-face. -face. In this communication, it is important that the listener receiver can not only hear but also be able to see the hand and facial movements that explain the speaker's source 
emotion and intention. Thus, feedback can be provided in a short time by asking questions that are not understood. On the other hand, nonverbal communication is very important in interpersonal communication. People actually communicate with their whole body, posture, appearance, closeness, or distance to other people. Nonverbal communication is sometimes included in this type of communication using gestures and facial, facial expressions to express feelings and thoughts that cannot be expressed in words or sign language. In written communication, the message is delivered to the recipient using letters, numbers, shapes, symbols and pictures without accept, expecting an immediate response. Tools such as letters, emails, articles, books and brochures can be given as examples of this type of communication. Now, in the second section, we will discuss about risk communication. In the risk analysis process, risk evaluators, risk managers and the other interested parties share information and options on hazard, risk, risk-related factors and risk perception including informal and opinions, risk assessment findings, and explanation of risk management decisions. Briefly, risk communication is the exchange of information between the relevant stakeholders about the existence, severity, importance, and control of risks. Risk communication is a tool to help people make more informed judgments and make decisions about the risks they face in their own lives. Risk communication, scientific, legal, economic, socio-cultural and general public perception. Risk communication encompasses the sharing of information and opinions within the framework of risk and risk factors where there is an interaction between stakeholders. It may different sources interaction, mutual influence, stand out on the basis of risk communication. Among the objectives of risk communication, information sharing is the first place. In this way, it is aimed to increase awareness of risk and change behaviors. The ultimate goal of risk communication is to help stakeholders, consumers and the public understand the rational between a risk-based decision so that they can reach a judgment that reflects factual findings on the food safety issue that is in their interests and values. Effective risk communication can contribute significantly to the success of a, a comprehensive and reliable risk management program. These achievements can be listed as follows. To ensure the consumers are aware of the risks associated with the product and its safe use or consumption, gaining the confidence of consumers for appropriate risk assessment, managerial decisions and rate the related risk benefit assessments, contributing to consumers' understanding of risks and in food and standards for food safety, providing fair, accurate and appropriate information so that consumers can choose from a variety of options that meet their risk acceptance criteria. In risk communication, it is necessary to determine how the, to proceed on the following issues. Informing consumers about hazards and risks, emphasizing the, the distinction between hazards and risks, Informing consumers about risk assessment and risk management decisions process. Organizing effective two-way communication. Increasing the credibility of all individuals involved in the risk assessment and management process. Involving stakeholders and resolving conflicts. The third section is food allergens risk communication. Perception of risk refers to an individual's view of the risks associated with a particular situation and is closely related to the safe food handling and presentation behaviors of food industry workers. Risk communication is seen as a source of concern in terms of food safety. 
The way a risk of hazard is identified, evaluated and managed is an important factor in preventing foodborne illness and food allergy reactions from occurring as it affects how individuals perceive, process and act. Based on this information, it can be said that food allergen risk communication is very important in terms of food safety risk management in order to prevent food allergy reactions when serving customers with food allergies in collective consumption places. Food allergens risk communication should be based on four basic principles. The process should be started by evaluating the communication performance in risk management by making a risk assessment of existing allergens in foods. From the beginning of the evaluation process, there should be continuity in communication between everyone in the communication process. Customers, restaurant staff, cooks, waiters, suppliers, etc. Communication should be able to respond to the needs of the target audience customers and consumers. The communication process should be managed correctly by following the changes in the product content and menus during the procurement phase. Risk communication, which is a key element of in food allergen risk management, is a tool that will help consumers with food allergies to obtain accurate information about possible food allergen risks in the products that they buy or order and to decide whether or not to consume the product in line with this information. In food allergen risk communication, it is very important to question the presence of allergens or hidden allergens in foods and thus to structure the communication by considering all risks. Providing accurate and effective food risk management may in some cases ensure the survival of cons a consumer with food allergy. Several aspects are important in food allergens risk communication. Communication methods between consumers with food allergies and restaurant staff should be clear and understandable. It is necessary to know the cons consumer audience and to convey the allergen notifications in accordance with the consumer's knowledge and perception level. Food allergens risk communication should cover the process from food to farm to fork. Suppliers, food manufacturers, retailers, collect, collective consumption food businesses and businesses employees should be included in this process in order to inform the consumer with food allergy correctly. Food allergens risk communication should cover the process from food to farm to fork suppliers, food manufacturers, retailers, collective consumption food businesses and business employees should be in included in this process in order to inform the consumer with food allergy correctly. Apart from businesses own owners who are responsible for presenting the allergy notifications to consumers in writing and verbally within the framework of legal requirement, the appropriate communication method should be selected by ensuring coordination between employees who have technical knowledge about food allergens and or personal trained in this project. In order to the discussion taken in the food allergen risk assessment process to be conveyed clearly, clear, correctly, open, written and interactive communication should be established when necessary. Allergic reactions to a wide variety of foods can occur in different countries, in different regions, and even in different people. Although it is not possible to report the presence of allergens in all these foods, it is legally obligatory to notify the 14 most common food allergens according to the European Union legislation. Persons assigned in the food allergen risk communications process should know the legal legislation and allergen notifications should be made in accordance with the legislation. It is important that the people who will take part in communication understand the sensitiveness and wishes of the cons consumer, make eye contact, be reliable and have a clear and smooth speech.
In order to risk communication to be successful, it must be oriented towards the perception of the consumer. An effective risk communication must be effective and well planned even before the communication starts. In creating a good risk communication, it is very important to understand the uncertainties in the risk process to define the people involved in the communication process, suppliers, employees, customers, etc., to have the requested information, to determine the method according to the perception of the people, and to communicate in a timely manner. Risk communication. The communication message should be formed correctly by evaluating the perception of the risk, the content of the food, and the concerns of the consumer against the risk of contamination of allergen foods. In the communication process, it is necessary to understand the consumer with food allergy to emphasize to consider the uncertainty from hidden allergens and to provide accurate information. In a strong risk communication, consumer confidence should be established in line with appropriate risk assessment and risk management decisions. Thus, it should be ensured that consumers are always of the presence of allergens in the product contents and that they consume safe food by allowing them to choose in line with their own risk acceptability criteria. For, for food allergens, risk management communication for food safety to be successful, it must meet the following requirements. It should be planned carefully, taking into account the steps in the process form, farm to fork. It should raise awareness about food allergens among consumers and people involved in the communication process. It should be educational for the people involved in the communication process and create a behavioral change in the individuals. Very clear and understandable expressions should be used in communication. It should be able to meet the needs of the consumer correctly. Collaboration with reliable sources, business owners and suppliers, technical personnel and business employees. It should be based on the principle of transparency. People in communication should listen to each other and stakeholders involved in risk management should be included in the process. An important point that is the fourth section is stakeholders in the communication process. The main stakeholders in ensuring the necessary communication in the risk management of food allergens are food producers, collect collective consumption places and consumers. The communication between them should be clear, transparent, independent, understandable and timely responding. The main communication topics of the stakeholders in the communication process are as follows. Definition of food allergy and intolerance and the differences between them. Foods that cause allergies in customers. Points to be considered in the foods that will be offered to the consumption of individuals with food allergies. Legal requirements and procedures to prevent customers from being exposed to food allergens. Legal requirements on food labeling. How to make allergen notifications. Cross-contamination risks. Training for food suppliers and food retailers. Training for food manufacturers on risk management in the production process of an allergen-free product. Food manufacturers is an important stakeholder that should be in direct contact with food producers, suppliers and consumers. In the protection of individuals with allergies, food manufacturers are leg legally obliged to report the presence of allergens in the food on the labels of the product. In addition, it has to take the necessary precautions against allergen cross-contamination in the production process of allergen-free products. It is mandatory to specify certain substances or products that cause allergies or intolerances in the label declaration. Food manufacturers should be in contact with their suppliers so that they can correctly declare allergens in their label declarations. Manufacturers should determine how much the suppliers know about food 
uh, allergens and make the necessary checks. When making a label declaration for the product it produces, the food producer must consider all the risks in the production process. If the products produced are produced on a production line or equipment in contact with any raw material that may cause allergies, and there is a risk of containing allergens despite all cleaning procedures, the risk of traces of this allergen in the food should be indicated on the labels. Since even trace amount of allergen food can cause serious reactions in individuals with food allergies, Labeling should be done with precision by those working in the specialized food production process. Correct, clear and understandable labeling of food containing allergens is of great importance in informing individuals with food allergies. Due to the increasing number of consumers with food allergies, it has become mandatory for these businesses to take precautions regarding risk management of food allergens in collective consumption places such as restaurants, cafes and cafeterias. It is a legal obligation to present allergen information to the end consumers for food served in collective consumption places. It is essential that restaurant staff know the potential risk in taking and preparing orders that do not contain food allergens. If restaurant employees do not have sufficient knowledge about food allergens, they cannot give clear and easy to understand answers to requests from customers with food allergies. They need to know the cross-contamination routes of allergens and be aware of the serious effects of allergic reactions. For example, serving food allergic customers isn't as easy as removing cheese from a burger for a diary allergic consumers or remo removing walnuts from a salad for a nut allergic customer. To safely serve customers with food allergies, all restaurant staff must be familiar with menu ingredients, food allergens, safe food preparation methods and storage, presentation and serving procedures. When Investigating the causes of food allergy reactions in collective consumption places, it appears that cross-contamination is due to miscommunication between waiters and cooks and failure to report allergic ingredients. In addition, ignorance of the presence of hidden allergens in sauces or mixed meals containing many ingredients and misinformation to the customer can increase the risk of customers being exposed to food allergens. Other factors that increase the risk are that employees in collective consumption places do not have enough information about food allergens, working conditions are fast and there is no effective communication between employees. Consumers with food allergies who avoid foods containing allergies allergenic ingredients due to health concerns should ensure that any product is allergen free before consuming it. It is the responsibility of consumers who have food allergies to inform the relevant personnel about which food they are allergic to before ordering in collective consumption places. Consumers with food allergies should be good label readers and should be familiar with menus, banners, etc. Should pay attention to the written allergen notifications in their contents. In this way, they are informed about the risk of any allergen in the food and decide whether they can consume the product or not. Now, we can talk about the fifth section with its communication methods of food allergens notification. Food allergen notifications can be communicated to consumers written or verbal. Written communication takes place on a restaurant's website, posters, menus and ingredient lists. In addition to written communication, conversation between customers and servants are often needed for most food orders. In these conversations, customers and servants understand each other and decide together how best to manage the customer's food order. 
written communication notifications that will enable consumers to be informed about the presence of allergens in foods are food labels and content such as menus, banners, etc. One of the best ways to protect individuals with allergies from allergic reaction is to read and understand labels and menus correctly and thus to cut off contact with foods containing allergens. Legally, 14 substances or products are, that cause allergy, allergens or intolerances must be stated on the labels of all food supplied to the end consumer, including non-prepackaged foods and foods offered in collective consumption places. While making the allergen declaration, 14 allergen substances that are required to be declared should be taken as a basis. This notification can be made via banners, blackboards, and menus. In addition to printed menus in restaurants, restaurant websites are also seen as important communication platforms. If possible, restaurant owners can post a full list of menu in items ingredients online to make it easier for customers to make more informed decisions about where to eat. The label is any sign, brand, stamp, pictorial or other descriptive element written, printed, stenciled or code stamped, marked and boasted, affixed or attached to the packaging of container of the food. Any text, information, trademark, pictorial element or signs related to food included on any packaging, document, notification or label accompanying or referring to food is called labeling. Mandatory label information includes statements such as the name of the food, the list of ingredients, certain substances or products that cause allergies or intolerances, the amount of certain, certain ingredients or ingredient groups, special storage and or use conditions, country of origin, name or trade name, and address of the food business operator. It is necessary to pay attention to some issues in the labeling of 14 allergen foods that are required to be notified according to the legislation. In the ingredient list, allergens should be highlighted with a different size, style, or background color from the other ingredients. If the food does not have an ingredient list, the presence of an allergen should be stated as contains. For example, some alcoholic beverages must contain the phrase contains sulfites. In addition, if the name of the food is clearly referred to, there is no need for an allergen, allergen discoloration. Examples of these are cheese, butter, wheat flour, etc. Foods such as a separate notification must be made for each ingredient containing the same allergen. Due to the possible and unintentional presence of some to the end consumer or collective consumption places, food sold without being prepackaged, foods that are packaged in line with the customer's demand in the businesses where there the sale is made, mandatory information about foods that are prepackaged for direct sale are kept in places where the purchaser can see them or present it to the purchaser with the food. Mandatory information includes statements such as the name of the food, specific substances or products that cause allergies or intolerances, country of origin, name or trade name, and the address of the food business operator. Verbal communication is generally used when ordering food in collective consumption places. Oral communication, preferred for risk management of food allergens, requires prior preparation and knowledge. Thus, effective and successful verbal communication can be provided between the personnel who have knowledge about food allergens and the consumer with food allergens. Employees should be provided with training on risk management of food allergens. This training should include topics such as uh, what allergens foods are, what reactions can occur when these foods are consumed, 
the necessity of employees to approach allergen-free orders seriously and ways to communicate when serving customers with food allergies. While communicating, it is necessary for the employees of the businesses to have the ability to speak in clear and understandable sentences, to have sufficient knowledge about the allergen, allergen contents of the prepared foods, to have a smooth speaking style and body language, not to act in a hurry, to take the issue seriously, to take notes and to make eye contact with the customers. Collective consumption places operators and employees who are trained in food allergen risk management facilitate their food selection decisions by conveying accurate information about food allergens to customers with food allergy. Moreover, employees' second confirmation of customers' allergen-free orders can increase the effectiveness of communication and ensure the safety of customers. Communication between an allergic customer ordering food and restaurant staff can be successful or unsuccessful. In successful communication, customer satisfaction is ensured by preparing an order with, that will not cause an allergic reaction in line with the expectation of the customer. If it is noticed that the order was prepared incorrectly due to an unsuccessful communication, the employees can prepare the food again. Otherwise, allergic reaction may occur in the customer with food allergy. Let's examine the sixth section, which is about teamwork in communication. In collective consumption places, notifications of allergens must be written on the menus. During order taking, customers examine the menus and contact the waiter to discuss their meal choices. That is, Written and verbal communication takes place together between customers and business employees. Thus, customers and employees with food allergies decide together how to manage this process. In order for the food allergy risk management communication to be successful, the points to be considered in the food allergen risk management communication from the customer to the waiter and kitchen staff from the kitchen staff to the waiter and from the order to the customer will be explained on the next slide. Waiter and customer. While taking the order, the waiter asks the customer if he or she has any food allergies. The customer declares the allergy status if he or she is allergic. Customer gives information about his or her allergy and allergy severity. The waiter confirms the customer's allergy status, takes a note of his or her order, and confirms the accuracy of the order with the customer. Waiter and kitchen staff. The waiter conveys the necessary information about the customer's allergy status and his or her order to the chef and other kitchen staff. The kitchen staff checks the recipe for the relevant allergen component and informs the waiter about the allergen content, if any. If it is not possible to remove the allergen content from the order's recipe, the kitchen staff asks the waiter to update the order by contact contacting the customer. The kitchen staff prepares the allergen-free order in accordance with the food allergens risk managers management instructions. The kitchen staff labels the order prepared according to the customer's request. The kitchen staff forwards the order to the waiter with closed service to avoid cross-contamination. The kitchen staff and the waiter check together whether the order is prepared in accordance with the customer's request. Waiter and customer. The waiter makes sure he she serves the right order to the right customer. The waiter receives feedback from the customer about the order. Customer satisfaction and safety are ensured in positive notification. If it is noticed that the order was prepared incorrectly in the negative notification, the order is prepared again. In case of consumption of the order without realizing that it was prepared incorrectly, if allergic reactions occur in the customer, Health institutions are immediately informed. In the food allergen risk management communication process, 
customers with food allergies should notify their current food allergies to collective consumption place stuff before ordering. Although customers provide information about their food allergies, they often do not share information about how serious their allergies are. However, even a very small amount of allergen exposure can be life-threatening for some people with food allergies. For this, it is necessary to pay attention to this issue in communication. Also, employees can ask customers if they have any food allergies before taking orders from the customer. Thus, it is ensured that allergy communication starts correctly. When taking the order, the waiter must confirm whether she, he, has correctly understood the allergy that the customer has. Waiter should review the content of the order with the customer, should not hesitate to ask again which food the customer is allergic to, and should ask the customer to confirm the accuracy of the information. In order to avoid misunderstandings in the process, there should be fewer personnel in communication with these customers. Personnel with knowledge and training on food allergens should be assigned to the communication process. Control of current practices within the framework of established procedures for food allergen risk management communication should be provided by responsible personnel or chef. Correct communication between business employees and customers with food allergy reduces the risk of allergen reactions. Gaining the trust of the customer also increases the satisfaction to the business. Restaurants where their process in, is managed effectively and accurately are preferred by customers with food allergies. Before the last section, we can discuss the problems and deficiencies in communication. There may be some barriers to food allergen risk communication. There, this may include differences in perception among stakeholders, supplier, employee, customer, reliability of information source, method of allergen notifications on labels, banners and menus, and differences in social characteristics. As different stakeholders interact in food allergen risk management communication, various problems can arise. The heavy use of technical terms in communication can make allergen notifications incomprehensible to customers. Different information needs may be needed even among people working in different areas of the food industry within the communication mechanism. For this, a procedure should be established and implemented by a team taking into account the risk factors in the working environment. An effective chain of communication between customers with food allergies and waiters and chefs can lead to food allergy reactions in collective consumption places. Customers with food allergies may experience an allergic reaction even if they talk to waiters and chefs about their condition and review the allergen statements on the menus. Also, customers are required to inform business employees about food allergies Customers often assume that the food is safe and that the menu notifications are accurate and do not notify employees of special dietary needs. Customers with food allergies do not communicate with business employees about food allergies because they feel social shame about providing information about their allergy state. However, employees expect customers to notify them of their food allergen status and requires request information from them. This communication gap between customers and employees is among the most important communication problems in experiencing food allergen reactions. When the source of allergic reactions experienced by customers with food allergies is examined, it is seen that a significant part of them is caused by hidden allergens in food. In addition, it has been observed that that food allergens are transmitted by cross-contact with other foods by means of food preparation in areas and surfaces close to food allergens, common tool equipment in the kitchen, and personnel. The fact that all raw materials used in collective consumption businesses are not labeled, allergen notifications are not controlled, 
and they are not stored in separate and appropriate storage conditions leads to allergic reactions. The fact that label information contains mixed, incomplete and unclear information may cause people to not understand the allergen declarations on food labels correctly and may cause food allergens to be consumed accidentally by allergic individuals. However, false or so-called precautionary labeling may also cause people to be malnourished with unnecessary restrictions. The lack of awareness, lack of knowledge and education about food allergens among food businesses employees cause problems in risk management of food allergens applied in the business, resulting in food allergy cases in customers. People with food allergies may experience an allergic reaction after consuming food served in a variety of venues, including commercial and non-commercial food service establishments, collective consumption, social events like birthdays, parties, festivals, bazaars, fairs, and homes. The lack of knowledge and awareness of the people who prepare the foods that are allergen foods and even traces of allergen can cause fatal allergic reactions, can lead to the occurrence of allergic reactions. Thanks for your attention.